Hello guys. Hello, hello. It's been a while. As far as doing a regular video, actually, since I've uploaded, it's not that I don't have videos. Anyway, something different. We're going to step back in time to the old Avon stuff when I was growing up. Now, the first one is something that I had, and um, it came from the Small World Collection. And these, the Small World Collection came out in like the later 60s, early 70s. It was still going. And they had little pins like these. And inside them was Glace Perfume. I love gingerbread men. This was probably the real reason why I started liking gingerbread men, because I liked this so much. And as time went on, you know, they had creams in the early 70s. This was um, the Love Dove Cream Sachet, and it's from the Small World Collection. And I had one of these when I was under the age of five. And I just, I just loved him. I don't have any of my original perfumes. I ended up ordering these just because of sentimental retro reasons. It still smells the same. Just all those years later from the early 70s till now and this still smells the same. Um, and then as the 70s went on, they also started putting them in things like this. This was something that my mother had. Probably one of my aunts gave them to her. And if memory serves me right, I would say Aunt Grace gave her this. And this was actually patchwork cream and the head came off. And it almost smells the same, but it's kind of turned. So, yeah, it's not exactly the same. And my all-time favorite perfume ever. It was a really light smell, light and airy, springtime-ish, summertime-ish, not overkill, not overpowerful. Delicate Daisies. I've mentioned this before, probably in like other videos and stuff. This is like my all-time favorite. Oh, it's definitely a summery smell. The only way to describe it is, is it's um, almost like a lilac smell or a hyacinth if you were to smell it. But yeah, this was one of the bottles that came out in the 70s. And back then, the lids on your bottles weren't cheap plastic. They were like almost like a Melmax ceramic type top. Oh, I love it. This was one of my all-time favorite perfume bottles. It also has delicate daisies in it. Um, it's the Avon Church Mouse Bride. And of course, when you got it in the box, I still have the boxes for this stuff. You took and you put this on and basically you unscrewed her top and there was your perfume. They also had a groom mouse, but I didn't care about the groom mouse. Just like I never cared about the Ken Barbie. You know, it was, it was a female thing, you know, the heck with all that girly. The little boy stuff added in with the girl stuff. So yeah, you could set her on your dresser like that or you could really twist her good. And set her on your dresser more so like that. Yep, they come out in the middle 70s. Middle to later 70s. Um, the next thing. This I did not have. I was probably too young for it. But my grandmother always had this on her dresser. And every Sunday before I went to church, there was like two perfumes she had that I always wanted. Or three. Honeysuckle, roses, roses, roses. And this Hanagasa sort of stuff. That's a cream, and that's kind of not really the best smelling stuff. The creams didn't really last well over the years, but I love the coloring on the bottles. I just loved them, and that's what drew me to my grandmother's perfume because she had one of these, and I loved the bottle. It's kind of like a Hawaiian almost. Well, I know it's Oriental, but it almost reminds me of a Hawaiian scent. And you used to, you know, roll it on. Yeah, it's still in there. It's kind of like an oil. 
between you and I, I kind of like the bottle a little bit more than I like the smell of the perfume. <laughs> and another thing that I had was the Charisma Donkey. My aunt gave me that, my Aunt Darlene, one Christmas. This was always a little bit stronger. Um, probably not my favorite. Not bad. It's starting to turn a little bit. It's got a lot of an alcohol smell to it, so yeah. But it was more or less just for the memorabilia fact of it. You know, I thought he was cute. I always had him something like that on my dresser, though. Straight on. Oh. Dropping stuff here. This was my grandmother's scent. <clears throat> roses, roses, roses. I'll be truthful with you. I love it. It just takes me back so much. It really does. It, it really does smell like roses. But it also kind of reminds me of like a funeral. Which, not a good fun memory. But, roses, roses, roses. Loved the smell of that. Then there was field flowers. This was all 70s. Like perfume. This is okay. It's 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 old, you know, so it turns over time so you can smell the alcohol a little bit. So it's really hard to say, but it almost reminds me of a flowery odd day smell or something. This was another one of my favorites that I had as a kid, and it was their Hello Sunshine Cologne. Once again, nice top like there was on the Delicate Daisies. Not cheap and chintzy like today. Bottles were thick. This smell is unbelievable. This has not turned at all. The only way to describe this scent is to smell uh, almost like a shampoo smell. It's like a refreshing feeling, like an out-of-the-shower smell. Yeah, I really, really like that. And we all know Avon, which still carries this product and probably one of their oldest smells. Sweet honesty. Everybody had the turtle. Either it was the dark turtle or the light turtle. And that's turned. That doesn't smell like sweet honesty. More for memorabilia's sake. This was a product that I really, 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 really wanted very badly. It's Millicent Mouse. And she was just like a regular stick with sweet honesty perfume in it. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. I always love, love florally smells. You know, I don't care if it's old ladyish or not. That other stuff, like the stuff that started turning with the alcohol smell, it gives me headaches. But yeah, Millicent Mouse, how I loved her. I wanted her so badly as a kid. I used to stick my finger in her. This was a real popular one that I think everybody had. It was the deer with the gold eyes. They had all different kinds. I'm not going to bother smelling it because I'm not a huge fan of Sweet Honesty so much, per se. Um, I, they're cute, but... Mm -mm, nothing to give myself a headache. The bear. How I loved the bear. He's all like velvet on the outside and he was filled with sweet honesty. I'll smell him just because he's cute. His smells just like sweet honesty. A strong scented sweet honesty, but yeah, just, I just really like their little velvet, velvet animals. And I think my aunt or my stepmom got me one of these for Christmas. And alas, last but least, uh, out of the old collection, was the rabbit that I wanted so, so badly. Grandma would let me get stuff every so often. Um, 
out of her Avon books. How I enjoy just looking at all of her Avon stuff. But yeah, the rabbit. I liked him a real lot. Smells like a strong, sweet smelling. Whoop. Strong smell, sweet honesty. Reminds me of a car air freshener. That's what it smells like. And this next scent is not old. Um, it's older. It's from the 90s. It didn't last long. And it was my favorite perfume from Avon in later years that came out that is no longer. It is discontinued. They had a different cap on it. When I found out they discontinued this stuff, I went and bought like seven bottles on eBay of it. And it is called Peach Musk. Oh, I love that smell. Very light. Mm. I guess I better use this up because it's starting to get a little funny on me. I have to keep my perfumes hid in my closet because Seth likes to use them as air freshener. Mm. Don't have very much left. I may have to go online and get some more and hope that they didn't turn. But that was just a little bit of my collection. Some of the stuff that I got... Um, I put in baskets on one of my Facebook pages. It's called Memory Lane. And it was like a 70s basket or something that I did. And it was like a little bear. We used to always wear in the 80s these little pinchy animals that stuck right here on the side of your shirt. Of course, back then we always had the little collars that came down. So we'd stick it over here. And inside the little bear, of course, was one of these. Or you could get lip stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed some of that older perfume stuff from when I was a kid, and I'll be do more, doing more videos really soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you.